Nothing says com block like a squared off subgun. Let's get to work. Hey guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Work the Trigger. This is going to be a little bit of a quick one today, but we're here to talk about the Stribe Bog, Stree Bog, the Grand Power Things handguard extension from JTAC Industries. This is an aluminum extrusion made by JTAC that matches up darn near perfectly with our Strybog here. And honestly, gives it a hell of a profile. The thing that I have liked the least about my Strybog is the amount of barrel that stuck out the end here. It has an eight inch barrel, which I actually really like. I like the length of the barrel. It gives it a really nice recoil impulse. I've got an AR9 that has got a five inch barrel and it just doesn't handle recoil as well as the Strybog here does. But I didn't like the look of that extra barrel sticking out the end. Well, now there's a solution. Matching up with the rails, both on the top and the bottom of our original upper here. This thing matches up the best that I've seen an aftermarket rail extension match up. Its mounting system is really solid with a screw on both the right and the left hand side. Once you get those screws in, uh, it doesn't move. It's actually really, really solid. It has a built-in location for our flip down sight to seat nicely there. So we don't have to worry about anything over the top here, as well as a QD mount on both sides. Up until now, I've had to run this QD mount down here on the frame. Now I can run it up there. I would be able to run it up here uh, if I didn't have my little flippy charging handle, not willing to lose that for that. However, this little flippy charging handle did require some modification to be able to be used with our JTAC extension here. Now, considering the price of both of those, I would doubt the majority of the Strybog owners are going to run them. Our extension here is not a low cost option. Um, does come in right about $120. Is that expensive for an inch and a half of aluminum? Yeah, it's expensive. Um, however, the engineering design work that went into this, it's not expensive for that. As I said, I've matched up extrusions before and it is not a simple thing to do. The amount of tooling that they would have had to go through in order to get this right. It's the price that we pay for having a non-mainstream gun. They gotta make their money back somehow. Now you might be asking, Andrew, what are the benefits of this thing? And to be honest, uh, other than looking badass, it does give you a little bit more to be able to hold onto if you're grabbing onto the front of the gun here. Uh, it does give you the ability to pull down. Again, it's gonna give you those QD slots. So if you're already spending 30 or $40 on a QD mount down here, what's another hundred bucks to go ahead and get an extension? And if all of that isn't enough for you, throw a can on it and you'll never go back. Now, full disclosure, JTAC did send this thing to me. Uh, it was early on and it's just now taking me long enough to be able to take it out and shoot to make sure that it's not going to fall off. It's not going to do anything weird. It's not going to loosen, not going to wiggle, not going to adversely affect your shooting experience. Quite the contrary. Uh, it does really awesome. Again, especially with the can. But if you're looking to really trick out your Strybog and you've got the money to be able to spend on it, you're not going to be able to spend less and this is a very unique thing that you can do to it. I've seen a lot of guys do a barrel chop to pull that barrel length down, but this is another way to be able to get that same look, maintaining your commie profile gun while also keeping your threaded barrel and getting that full eight inches. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in the JTAC extension, find a link to that in the description down below. Before I let you go, remember, if you like this video, hit that like button down below. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button over on that side. If you wanna help out the channel, there's a couple of ways to do that. Number one, you can head over to Patreon, you'll find a link in the description down below for that. Number two is you can right here on YouTube become a channel member. Number three is you can head over to theworkthetrigger.com. Over there, you're going to find coupon codes, affiliate codes, and links to our merch. And lastly, you can head over to WTT3D.com. Over there, you're going to find our 3D printed gun accessories. Remember, guys, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work. Nothing says com block like a squared off sub gun. <laughs> Will you cut me out of it? I don't know. I don't know if I can cut you out of it. Don't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta remember where I was now. This is still live. Mm-hmm. It's not live, but it's recording. I'll put that in there, okay? Maintaining...